Hey guys, Bill coming back at you again with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the photo periods that got pollinated by the Hermi. And we'll also take a look at some other auto flowers that I have going. Maybe do a little defoliation on them. Okay guys, so uh, I didn't get a video out last week. I was pretty ill, so uh, I'm feeling better now. And uh, can't wait to to show you how these girls are doing. But first off, what I wanna do is I wanna thank my new Patreon members for June, and I wanna give them a shout out. So we have, we have Red, we have Chris, and we have Dawn, Raphael, Mr. Marty, Mr. Cohan, and Marta. So thanks guys, I really appreciate the support there. And uh, I really appreciate all my Patreons for uh, sticking with me and supporting me along the way to help keep this channel going. Okay, so I think first off we'll take a look at the auto flowers. Okay, so I planted some auto flowers. Uh, I started it five weeks ago, so they've just been going in my two and a half by five foot tent. Um, haven't done much of anything to them except for a little defoliation. Now, if you wanna see the very first look at glimpse at these ones, if you go back to my, I believe it was June 7th video when I was showing the Girl Scout cookies autos, the buds, the bud size, I actually used one of the solo cups to, for a size reference. And that was one of these plants. So uh, that's the only time I've shown these plants so far on this channel. So uh, let's take a look at where they're at. Okay guys, so there they are. Now the two biggest ones here, these are five weeks from seed. These ones are about a week behind. I think this one's a week and this one's just a, a little bit farther behind. Let's talk about this one here. This one is a gold leaf auto flower. Now I've tried one of these before and it turned out to be a photo period. I have a couple of different bags of seeds and, and I must have got it mixed up. So hopefully I got the right bag this time. So this should be the auto flower for the gold leaf. Now these come from ilovegrowingmarijuana.com. The owner of ilovegrowingmarijuana.com, Robert Bergman, actually put together these seeds. And uh, the photo periods look fantastic. So I'm assuming the autos will be just as good. So now everything else in here, all three other ones, these are from Hermes Seed. I had grown previously, uh, maybe about a year and a half ago, I had planted some seeds from Festo Genetics. I had Three Bears OG, and I also had Alien vs. Triangle, both great strains, uh, highly recommended, um, if you can get your hands on them. But uh, anyway, what happened was the one of my Three Bears OG hermied on me and pollinated one of my alien versus triangles so these are the hermy seeds from those i have grown them once before since the hermy seeds and uh they were fine but uh, i'm just gonna try to experiment again i'm gonna run them again and see what happens so we have three here uh, again this one's a little bit a uh, little bit younger but uh, we're gonna try them again uh, they're doing very good i haven't done any type of training on them i've just kind of let them grow up like a christmas tree now the only thing I did do is I have defoliated. Um, I usually come in every day and you can see here where I've taken off this leaf here. I've taken off both of these leaves. Basically what I'm doing is I'm pulling off most of the big fan leaves as they grow out. So uh, we're gonna do that again right now. Anything that's blocking sight. So we come over here, we see this big fan leaf here covering that we're just going to get in there and we're going to pop it off same as the other side where it is covering there's some buds there we're going to pop that one off now this this one here there's a bud site down here we're going to pull that off and that one's not covering anything so we'll leave that one and now we'll come up to this one Again, we're gonna, and it's mostly just the old big ones. The biggest ones on the plant. Now, like this one here is beautiful, beautiful leaf, but it's covering this here and it's covering part of that one there too. So, um, just gonna pop them right off. Now there's plenty of leaves left to do what needs to be done. 
I'm going to pop this big one off. And I'm even going to pop this big one off here. Now these are auto flowers. Now these are uh, about a one week into flower. So, uh, I see one more back here. I'm going to pop this one off too. I'm going to open that up. Just let that light penetrate down there a little bit more. So yeah, these are one about a week into flower. Now these ones are just started to show their hairs now. And uh, so they're pretty much right on track with these ones. I want you guys to be able to see the difference. Like normally I'm on here and I'm training like crazy. And uh, I very seldom let them grow just in their natural state and just let them grow up in the Christmas tree shape. And you can see what I mean by that. They got the, the one top main cola. As you go down, it gets fatter and fatter till the bottom. The same as a Christmas tree. So I just thought I'd let a few grow out that way just so you guys can see the, the difference here. Now we'll come over to this one here. We got this huge leaf here, but it's covering all that down in there. So I'm going to pull that one off and the one on the other side. So I might actually, I'm going to take this one too and this one. Now there's a lot of people say you can't train or you, you shouldn't defoliate auto flowers, but I've done it ever since I started growing auto flowers. And uh, I mean, you can tell these are nice and healthy. They're growing like crazy. Uh, these, these two, they're still stretching. And these two are probably just about ready to start stretching. So uh, I might take this one here too. See how that's covering all that underneath there. So we'll pull that off and the other one too. And that really opens up uh, a lot of bud sites in there. So that's all I'm going to do for them today. And uh, we're going to let them, I'm going to try to let them grow up just in their natural form with just, just some defoliation. Okay, so those are Alien versus Triangle crossed with Three Bears OG. Uh, beautiful strains and work really well together. Also the Gold Leaf Autoflower. So uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye on these. Now I do have some other seeds coming in. I also have a new grow system that I can't wait to use. Um, but I won't be setting that up for another week or two until I harvest all the other photos. So let's check out the photos. Okay guys, so here's the 8x8 eight eight tent. Uh, I have all the fans off and stuff, so it's nice and quiet in here. It's always so loud. All right, so let's take a look at these girls. Now, we know from the last video that these all got pollinated to some extent, some more than others, from a violator kush that I had right there. Um, now, of course, that does slow down the growth of the buds especially the ones that got seeded really bad it takes the energy that it would use to create bigger buds and puts it into maturing those seeds up so now this one's getting a little bit top heavy i'm gonna have to tie some of this stuff up a little bit you can see here that's pretty top heavy so uh well let's take a look closer look at some of these all right so this one here is the king tut these are from Canuck Seeds True North Seed Bank. And uh, great strain. I, I love this strain. I've grown it a few times before. And it's really good. Now, I also got this before from it, though. It always gets a little bit of foxtail going on. Now, you can see here all the new white hairs. And it's pretty much on every bud. Now, again, I, I've, met, I've talked about foxtails before but I'll just show you again quickly. You can see that it's on all these top buds. Now, if it was only on these top buds, then it would probably be caused by, you know, the light being too hot with the heat on top. And uh, that's not the kind of foxtail that you wanna have. But if we notice here, now we can come down on the side here. Let's come way down over here this bottom one here it's not getting a whole lot of light but it's still it's still got those new white hairs coming even this one way down here it's got some so so and the other plant is doing the exact same thing 
a little bit of foxtail hairs there so uh anyway the other ones did that also not too disappointed with it because i know what's gonna i know this is gonna be really good cannabis anyway so and uh these did get hit with the pollen now it's a little harder to see now because they have still balked up a bit especially some of these ones with the with the foxtails that are starting to protrude a little bit it's a little harder to find the seeds here but they are they didn't get seeded super bad but they do have some seed in it now so like we talked about uh the seeds that are going to be produced here carrying on the hermy trait now i've had some people in the comments state no that's not how it works uh if a hermy pollinates itself it has a higher chance of hermying but if it if it pollinates another plant then not so much now everything i've read and researched tells me that if a plant hermes like the one that was here it hermied i believe it was due to genetics because it hermied early in flower and the environment was fine so um, no light leaks temperature's fine humidity's fine everything's fine feeding is the same as everything else in here a little bit strong i like to push my girls but uh i don't think enough that it that's what caused i believe it was and also the fact that this one that was here that hermied was also a mutant shows you that the genetics were already messed up a little bit anyway so i believe that genetically brought on that hermy so now that that one pollinated this one a portion of the seeds from here will be from this one and a portion will be from that one so you're still going to have a bit of a higher chance genetically for it to turn hermaphrodite and uh, i'm not saying i'm 100 percent right i never say that because you know we're, we're learning all the time i'm learning with you guys so anyway that being said i love this strain the violator kush this is one here this is the only other one i have beautiful beautiful buds and really frosty I, i'm really liking this violator kush so that being said this one being so frosty and, and mm, just yummy and this one i know is a good strain anyway it's got frost on it it doesn't stand out as much but she is pretty frosty too but i think I think these two babies, the babies from these two, I think I'm gonna play around with them a bit because I think that will be a really good strain, the King Tot with the Violator Kush. So uh, I will play around with them a little bit. But anyway, so we have the King Tots here. We have the Violator Kush here, the one surviving Violator Kush, and everything else is the Bergman Gold Leaf. Now, the fact that all of these got pollinated to some extent is going to be really hard to really compare the way we trained because the plant stops putting as much energy into bud production as it as it puts that energy into seed production so it's not going to be a real a real good test here but uh i mean the buds still look pretty decent i mean there's going to be a few seeds in it but i mean it still looks still looks pretty yummy pretty frosty So, so this one back here is the, the one we Kyle Cushman and, uh, she looks good. Let's see if I can get back here a little bit. So we got some, some real nice donkey dicks here and, uh, yeah, nice and frosty. Nothing wrong with that at all. And so pretty happy with that one. Now this one back here. This was the one we swazied and that one's not bad. It looks, it looks pretty potent. It might have a little bit more, uh, a little more frost on these than the other, than the Kyle Cush one possibly, but not going to be quite the yield as the Kyle Cushman. Now we'll check out this one. This one was the one that we did both. We, we Kyle Cushman technique it early on. And then a couple weeks later, we stripped all the leaves off it. We swazied this one. So now this is also the one though that got hit the hardest with the pollen. There's seeds everywhere on this. So it's a really hard to, like I said, it's gonna be really hard to 
compare the two. You can see the seeds visible. And they're starting to turn starting to turn color the seeds so they're they're maturing in another week. Now these only have another week or so to go. But overall, I mean, I'm pretty happy all things considered. Now this one here, we didn't do too much to this one. We just kind of let it go and do its thing. You can see there's some seed here too. But but the buds are, I mean, that is a solid ass bud. Not just because there's seeds in it, it's just they're very solid, all of them. They're all very solid. Now with all these here, these all have been fed general hydroponic maxi bloom right from the start. Uh, there was, I think, two or three feedings where I had to leave them in veg a little longer than I wanted. So they did need an extra boost in nitrogen. So there was two or three feedings where I did mix general hydroponic maxi grow with the bloom for about three weeks before I flipped. And that was just because they went longer in veg than I had planned. I think they were about eight weeks into veg before I flipped. So uh, now if it was only four or five weeks into veg, I would have kept on straight general hydroponic maxi bloom the whole way from about two and a half weeks straight up to harvest. So anyway, that's what these guys have had. Now this one here. Now this was the one that I thought was a gold leaf autoflower, which turned out to not be a gold leaf autoflower. Now this one was also in veg for about 10 to 11 weeks. And we had trained this one quite hard. You can see here we got lots of LSD going on there. She's she's a pretty mangled knot down there, but uh, doing very well. Needs to be tied up. It's very top heavy. Let's take a look here. I mean, she's it's a pretty frosty bud right there, and uh, they're all it's all looking pretty frosty in there. So pretty happy with that. Now, this one here was the only one that was fed prescription blend nutrients right from the start. This looks wonderful. I mean, it needs to be tied up. They're, they're pretty heavy. These buds are super, super rock hard and very, very sticky. Mmm, smells good though. Gotta smell my fingers. Can't let that go to waste. All right, so now that being said, I was talking to the guys at Prescription Blend Nutrient and they decided to do a giveaway and they wanted me to help them do that. So starting today, this is Saturday the 4th, July 4th. Okay, so starting today, we're going to be doing a giveaway. There's gonna be three winners. My apologies to the other countries, but these guys can only ship a certain amount. So they can only ship to the US and they are going to ship one to Canada, which they're working on trying to get Canadian distribution here at some point so let's see what you can win okay so here is the whole kit and you will get one of each you get a big bag of the core a and b which are your main nutrients and then you have your bio -Sci, which is your silica your precursor your big data bloom and your kelpful so this is the complete kit and they are giving away three kits two to the united states and one to canada all you need to do is subscribe to my channel like this video and then comment below either us for the united states or ca for canada so if you do not have the ca or the us in your comment uh, you won't be eligible for this giveaway now for anybody else that wants to try this then i will have a code in the description and now for the next two weeks they're also offering 25 percent off of their nutrient line which is awesome i mean that's just it's not super expensive anyway like some of the nutrients out there but it works good i mean you can look here and this is what it does like it's just it grows beautiful bud so be sure to comment subscribe like this video leave a comment with either ca for canada if you live in canada us for the united states if you live in the united states simple as that and i want to give a big thank you to prescription blend for doing this okay guys so that's a look at the girls um overall Disappointed that they got seeded to some extent, all of them, but it's still going to be some good smoke here. And then also whatever's left that's too seedy, then I will process. And I'm hoping to be able to show you the processes that I use to, uh, to make my concentrates and butters. Okay, guys, so that's it for this one. Uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe. 
put that comment in there if you're in the United States or Canada. CA for Canada, US for US. And uh, hopefully you'll be one of the winners of the prescription blend nutrients. So also be sure to check out Mars Hydro. I'll have their link down in the description also with my code and uh, you can check them out. And they're doing a lot of upgrades on their lights. There's a lot of their lights now that actually have dimmers on them. So you have the TS, TSW2000. I'm pretty sure they have dimmers on that now. Uh, the SP250, they've upgraded that. They've upgraded that to the SP3000. Also be sure to check out ilovegrowingmarijuana.com. Well, it started on the first and it gets over on the sixth. So you only got a couple of days to check that out. But uh, they have lots of 10 by 10 get 10 free sales. And uh, so be sure to check that out too. I'll leave a link in the description for them also. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And we'll see you on the next one. Happy growing.